everybody, FHRC Baroni here, and uh, let's do it. Um, I'm just going to tell you guys my review of the tires, the BF Goodrich Mud Terrain TAs from Traxxas. And, um, and you, uh, <laughs> as you can see, I haven't even opened these up yet. But since I actually driven a slash two-wheel drive with with these tires, I figured why not do a review until I share you guys my thoughts about it. And first of all, the following is going to be my opinion. So nobody's not going to like it, but no one's not going to change it. So don't bother even trying to tell me this is crap. And I, and I know it is, but uh, this this video is not for everybody, oh, that's for sure. If you are strictly the ones who are really into racing and you love traction and stuff this is not a video for you that's for sure okay so um just to sum things up though uh just to share you guys my little thoughts here first of all i they gave me the wrong rim style i was expecting it to make a for some to look like this but oh well whatever works it's fine but anyways um uh, uh um, as a racer's perspective, you know, like, you know, the ones who are, you know, competitive and stuff like that, just want to get around the track, get some good lap times. This is, it's terrible. They're, they're, they're terrible tires in general. Yeah, I'll give you that. Uh, and I can see, I understand why, because I driven my slash two wheel drive with these exact tires on a rate on my local RC track at OCRC Raceway just uh like less than like a year ago and i gotta say it, it kept on understeering and didn't do so well on the track I, I got some weak lap times so yeah it's not a good tire to begin with especially when you're going to be driving it on, on an rc track because uh, these tires they do look amazing you know they got the license bf goodrich mud terrain tas but the only problem is they're too hard they're too stiff and uh, they don't have a lot of gift to it but but uh hey to each his own um they do have a um a softer compound the the s1 compound i used to have that one with the exact same rim design and uh they were s1 compound the bf goodrich tires and those work somewhat decent okay like i mean they are better than you know the stock ones but they're still not as great as you know as when you think about a, a proper competitive tire if you want to get like an actual tire that will give you good traction and give you some decent lap times around an rc track you should get the ones from either a pro line or or j concepts because they do make good tires um if especially for a car like the like a Traxxas Rustler, um, th those stock tires are not are pretty good, but they're not the best and not the best of the best. They are best in class, but they're not like like over the top. Uh, I know the J Concepts choppers; uh, they do pretty well around uh, track. Um, so basically, basically uh, tires like you know like slash stock slash tires, they're not great on an RC track. So. That's a racer's perspective, but for a basher perspective, you know, just for someone who likes to just drive, drive around their in front of their house, you know, just kick up some dirt. This is decent, actually. You know, I, I like I said, there is some ne negative to this car, and uh, and a lot of people do hate it. But I want to share you guys share you guys my thoughts about stuff that it's really good about it. So. Me, as a basher, which I'm not much of a racer, every now and then I'll be going around the track, but I'm just going to be just, you know, just have fun with it, bash around there. But these tires over here on, on, a, basher's, on a basher's side, they're great, okay? They, it, it gives you decent traction. For those of you who, who drive, mostly drive RC on a, on a street, they, these are going to last you a pretty long time. I... I had the other tires uh, with the S1 uh, compound that lasts me about almost a year right there. So, to be exact, let's say 
um, November, late November till uh, mid December. So late November 2015 till uh, late middle mid to late December of 2016. So it's pretty, it, it, it's pretty long. Okay, like it, it lasts lasts you for a long time. But like I said, they're still not going to be great on traction, especially for, for those of you who are going to be running on brushless systems like my Castle Mama Max Pro, which has already been uh, thrown away because it caught in fire. Yeah, it did. Um, with a heavy brushless system, these tires are not going to last long, especially if your tire tends to balloon a lot, which these actually do. So, uh, they're not going to last you long because you're shredding the crap out of those tires, out of these tires, and uh, you ain't going to last, a, it's not going to last a long time. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a decent tire on, on a... Uh, traction on road traction traction surfaces you know not not the best but they're okay but uh yeah i will do i will give some hopes for these tires and uh do some tweaking and stuff but let me go grab my other slash quick my courtney force slash um compare it to like these tires you may not see it but these are the the stock tire set. They're actually the original tread design that Traxxas used to use. I think up till now they are using them in some of their editions. And Courtney Force edition is one of them. I know the Robbie Gordon uh, edition slashes have that. But anyways, uh, those tires are actually they're a lot better than the than the BF Goodrich. I I gotta say, so. As far as a traction traction goes, you know, from a racer's perspective, blah blah blah. It's it's a hunk of garbage. Okay, I'll give you that. Um, a little bit of rambling there about the racer's perspective. So so sorry about that. But my point is, a, a racer's perspective, these tires are crap. They are piece of they're piles of junk. I'll give you that. In and I thought I, I I thought I'd I thought they were wrong, but actually they're not. It because I tried it, I gave it a fair shot on my local RC track, and didn't fare so well, unfortunately. But if you look at to the opposite side, you know, as a basher's perspective, it's pretty good. You know, it's decent, not the best, but it's going to take you pretty much anywhere. <laughs> that you wanted it to go. Uh, my only complaint here was when you go off road, is you're usually going to be power s spinning out, especially on a two wheel drive slash. Um, if you have these exact same tires on a four wheel drive car, like the f the f slash four by four, those are are okay. You're still going to be sli slipping and sliding, but you're not going to like uh, easily get easily oversteer. You know, like kick the rear. The rear tail out and stuff like that. Kick the tail out and pull out some rooster tails. Nothing like that because you got four wheel drive helping for you. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. So, like I said, a little bit of rambling there. Sorry, and I apologize about that. But like I said, my point is, on a racer's perspective, these are bad. As a basher's perspective, they're pretty decent. So, overall, should you buy it? Or not if you're into competitive racing I say pass on it because you can get better tires from J concepts and Proline and for almost like exact same price as you know as a slash set of slash tires that are probably more probably worth more but you're but the um, but you're dealing with better quality when you're thinking about J concepts and Proline these are like pretty much in the middle so, racer's perspective, bad tires. Pass on it, get better ones from J-Concepts or Proline. Basher's perspective, if you're just going to be just having fun, you know, nothing too crazy with it, this is okay, all right? For, you know, 25 bucks, um, I guess it's pretty good. So, yeah, that's it for now.